Hey planner people, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you all a plan with me. This is going to be the first installment of my 2022 Black-ish moments, okay? So if you didn't watch any of my videos last year, I had videos where I did some facts about Black people for the month of June, and so I'm going to do that again this year. So this year, um, or should I say last year, I did it by week where I talked about something specific that happened the week of the week that I was planning. So this year, I'm just going to pick some things that I just feel like no one might have heard about or isn't talked about very much. So I'm hoping I can find a lot of good facts to bring up and bring to light. So yeah, that's what we're going to do this month. <laughs> so hopefully I can stay on top of my plan with me and we can get this on and pop in. So first up, I have Miss Claudette Colvin. Her maiden name is Austin, Claudette Austin, but she's just, you know, you type in Claudette Colvin and you'll get her, okay? So we're talking about her, y'all. And she was basically Rosa Parks before Rosa Parks, okay? So this incident happened about nine months before the Rosa Parks incident. And this baby was 15 years old, okay? So she was 15 years old when this happened. But let's just give a little backstory. So Claudette was born September 5th, go Virgo. So she was born September 5th to her mom and dad. Her dad ended up basically abandoning her family. And her mom just basically struggled, you know, the life that a lot of us live, not even just black people, but the life that a lot of us be living, you know, single parent homes. But she and her younger sister were taken in by their great aunt and uncle. That is how she ended up with her last name, Colvin, because they ended up basically, I guess you could say being adopted by her aunt and uncle because they ended up taking their last name. So that's how her name became Claudette Colvin. They ended up moving to Montgomery, Alabama, where I just feel like a lot of us like glowed up in Alabama, y'all. Like I don't hear a lot of people talk about Alabama, but when you hear a lot of like history facts, Alabama be up through there. So like a lot of the good folks came from there, y'all. So we might have to like hit up Alabama a little more. But anywho, so when she was about eight years old, she moved to a poor black neighborhood in Montgomery where she spent the rest of her childhood. So two days before her 13th birthday, unfortunately, her sister died of polio. So that is very, very sad. And then basically like a little, a few months later, she ended up starting school. And despite being a good student, she had a lot of difficulty connecting with her peers just because like she was just going through it with n losing her sister basically you know how that ha how that can affect you or some people might know how that can affect you so yeah so that was that and speaking of Rosa Parks she was basically her mentor so I don't know if they met like before the incident or they did they know each other during the incident but they knew each other and that's really cool. I'm like, Rosa Parks, did you like kind of get like a little vibe or like you had got inspired? Was that what that was? Because I feel like that's what that was. But anyway, so in 1955, Colvin was again at Booker T. Washington High School and she really relied on the buses to get to and from school because her family didn't have a car. And so, yeah, like majority of African-Americans, they, y'all know how it was. Like you go to the back of the bus. <laughs> and so that's just what it was. We were still segregated, segregated back then. So on March 2nd, when she was coming home from school, she sat in the color section. So back then, let's just say the bus was packed. If the bus was packed and all the white seats was filled by the white people and white people was still standing, African Americans, they had to give up, give up their seats. Like that's just what the rules was back then. Like if you got you a seat, you paid for your seat. If the white people came on and they pay and they don't have a seat, you're supposed to give the seat up. So boom, Boo was on there. She was chilling. The bus got full, and then here come a lady needing a seat. What ended up happening is the bus driver asked both of them to get up, 
And so the pregnant lady was just like, no, I paid my fare. I don't really feel like standing. And so then Colvin took that initiative to be like, oh, I don't feel like standing up either. So no. So then he threatened them and was like, well, you don't get up. I'm going to call the police. And that's ended up being what happened. So they forced, they forcibly removed her from the bus and she was arrested by two policemen. And yeah, so she basically was the first Rosa Parks show. That's all I was trying to say. <laughs> Miss Colvin was the first Rosa Parks. But let me tell y'all this. So I was reading and they said that the reason why Colvin didn't get as much attention as Miss Rosa Parks was because she wasn't fair skinned and that she was a teenager. And they said that the civil rights movement try to keep up appearances. And so they would like put the most appealing protesters in the in the forefront. Ain't that something? I swear, I swear it's always, they be trying to pit us against each other, y'all. They be trying to pit us against each other. The lights against the darks. I don't want to say it like that. The light skins versus the brown skins. So like, that's a little crazy, isn't it? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But nonetheless, y'all, that was just a fact. Look her up, Claudette Colvin. I didn't fact check anything, but I just wanted to let y'all know that this was a thing. So again, the first Rosa Parks was Claudette Colvin. Check her out. All right. So now let's just get into the plans. So this was a decent week. I didn't really do too much, but I know I've already passed a few things. So let's just catch up. So on Monday, I ended up using a sticker from Glam Planner to mark that I watched this movie called His House. What was that about? His House. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so <laughs> just look it up on Netflix if you want to check it out. Dang, I wish I knew what that was about. I don't know. So then I used a sticker from Harriet Wright, a little Amazon sticker to mark that I got my new phone stand. I ended up doing a reel on it on Instagram. So if you want to check out the type of phone stand I have, it is on there, but it's also linked below in my Amazon links. Then I used a park day sticker from Honey Bee Shop to mark that dad dad took the kids to the park with their friends which is always nice to get them out the house and then i made some beef stew and i used a sticker from beneva creations the little instant pot use that to mark that along with a little happy dia ice cream to mark that i had marble slab i always get well no i won't say that but for the most part i always get birthday cake ice cream with birthday cake in it with Heath bar crumbles because that's just so good oh my god but yeah so that's was that on Monday then on Tuesday we got paid so I used a sticker from stick with the plan code to mark that along with a paper bit sticker to mark that we have a little bit of cuddle time always fun there and then I used a sticker from wonton in a million to mark that I watched my niece but she was sick all day so yeah it was an easy watch because I mean, she just slept all day long. Felt bad for her. I ended up getting some happy mail from Letters to Apollo, Lisa from Lisa Plans of Land, and Danielle from Journey to a Plan. I had got some dolls and some things, and I used a sticker from Glam Planner to mark that. Then I used a Switch sticker from Paper Shire to mark that I played some Mario Party with the kids. And then I also pulled in a sticker from Marge Goodies to mark that Joy had filmed for her YouTube channel. On Wednesday, I used a Glam Planner sticker to mark that I got some happy mail from Sadie Stickers. And then I had to put out an email because I was missing a package, which it wasn't really lost. It was just like the... The updates were wrong, I guess, because it said that it went... It said that they attempted to deliver at like 6 a.m., which was wrong. And then it said that it got sent back to the country that it was from, which was, I think, wrong because I ended up getting it only like a few days later. So I don't know. Like my mail has been doing really crazy things. Like I just recently had two 
things that in the shop app said that it was in transit. Then it went from transit to back to just shipped and was saying that it had like a pre-shipment label printed. But I know I saw it was in transit. And arriving soon. So I was like, well, how did it go back to a pre-shipment? Then I started seeing that it went back to where it was at. It was a lot. And I was sad about it. But I'm getting my mail. It just seems like it's doing extra things to get here. I don't know. Anyway, I've used a Glam Planner sticker <laughs> to mark that I was sad about my package. We played a little more Mario Party. And I used another Paper Shire sticker to mark that. And then I ended up watching some old movies on, I think it was probably Prime, Amazon Prime on Fire Stick. I think it had to been Prime, but I used a sticker from Pink Diamond Planner Co. to mark that I watched Jungle, which is good and is based on a true story. It has Harry Potter in it. What's his name? Rad Radcliffe? Can't think of his name, but it has him in it. And so he's like a little explorer. And so he goes on a little trip. He ends up meeting somebody and they decide that they want to go on like this trail, not a trail, but like, what do they call that? Like a, a hike, not a hike. I don't know. But they was doing things that they shouldn't have been doing. So they had met up. So it was two of them. Then it ended up being three of them. And then they met a guy who was going to take them on an ex excursion. And so they end up like, um, like you're not supposed to, you don't want to go out in the woods or in the, the forest when it's a raining season. And so it ends up raining. Their feet are getting jacked up. Like it's a lot. So um, one of the guys was like, he don't want to go no more. He was like, I don't, I can't do this anymore. I can't continue on. But two of them was like, we're going to still keep going. Y'all, they get on the boat, the raft. Because I think, did they mess up the raft and that's why they were stuck? I don't remember, but they go back on the little raft thing and he, um, they fall off. <laughs> One of them makes it, no, one of the, yeah, they fall off. So one of them makes it to the, to the shore. And so he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. But then y'all, the waves was just off the chain. So Harry Potter, he just down the water. He just gone. And so he ends up actually being, getting back on the, um, on the land. And so he's just basically lost. They're both lost. And, um, He's out there for days and he starts hallucinating and everything. And then the friend, he ends up getting found. He gets rescued. And so he's like, I got to go find my friend. I got to go find my friend. And they was like, at this point, dude, like we, we shot you here. <laughs> so they was like, we shot you here. And like, he's probably gone. But his friend was just like, no, I know he's not gone. I know he's not dead. We got to go back out there. So go out there one time in the plane. Like, how are you going to see anything in a plane? Go out there in the plane. They're like, no, he's not there. But he was just like, y'all not really trying. Like, like we got to go back out there. So he ends up meeting somebody who would take him on a boat out there. Y'all, when I said I was screaming at the screen, and I'm getting emotional because it was like so much. So he, uh, the guy, they get to where, Damn, Harry Potter is, I don't know his name. They get to him. They don't see him, though. He's, like, laying there. <laughs> He's just laying there. And I'm like, oh, my God, like, get up. Because, like, at that time, I, I don't think we knew he was laying right there. But when they was about to leave, you know, he's like, what? He starts waking up. He's like, what's going on? And, like, he can barely move. And so he's slowly getting up. They leave him, y'all. I was so mad. I said, please look back. Please look back. Because he can't yell or nothing. He's struggling, but he's trying to stand up. He's trying to be seen. And he's trying to yell for his friend. Y'all, his friend finally, I feel like crying. His friend finally turns around and sees him. <laughs> and I was just so happy because I thought he was going to get left. Oh, so sad. Anyway, he ends up finding him. They see him and it's just like 
everybody's just so like shocked and amazed that this man really got found and is alive. <sighs> but that was such a good movie. I liked it. <laughs> I mean, I basically told y'all the movie, but it's old. Maybe y'all seen it. But it was based on a true story. And then like we end up finding out that the man who had tried to take them out there, he was a whole fraud. And so they never found the friend who was like he couldn't go on anymore. They never found him. Ain't that something? I done got left in my spread again, y'all telling y'all that story. But yeah, that was a good movie. It's called The Jungle. And then I ended up also watching We Are Marshall, which that's a sad movie too. <laughs> Straight from the beginning of the movie, that movie's sad. But anyway, I also recorded a voiceover that day. <laughs> Let's catch up. So then on Thursday, I had a doctor's appointment, y'all. I like my doctors. It's a new doctor's. It's just, I keep, I feel like I'm going back and forth to them. So whatever. Found out some things I'm sad about. Like I'm like pre-diabetes or pre-diabetic. I got to get my ish together basically. That's what she said. Then she said I came back anemic. Girl, I got a lot going on. Cholesterol. Your boo got to exercise. <laughs> like I got to get my ish together. Okay. Okay. Anyway. But I used a sticker from Glam Planner to mark that Glam Planner all up through this spread, y'all. She threw that. All right. So then I used a Bubba Bear sticker to mark that we went bowling on this day. And we were blessed by Bay's uncle because they were up there and they paid for us. It was so good. <laughs> and it was like senior day, but it was fun. I really rather bowl. Like, I would want two lanes, but it was so packed we couldn't get two lanes. But I would want two lanes, one for the kids and one for me. Because all that pull, the little, you know, the little thing that they can push the ball on, pulling that back and forth for Nene, that just was a lot. I'd rather just have them have their little thing out there the whole time and I'd be on this side bowling. <laughs> but, yeah, so we went bowling, so that was fun. I haven't been bowling in got to be at least two years plus because of COVID. So, yeah, that was fun. So then we ended up, uh, or the kids ended up coming over. The neighbors came over and hang out to hang out. And I used a one time in a million sticker there. I got some happy mail from my newest addiction, used a stick with the plan code sticker. And then I used a paper doll sticker to mark that I zoomed with the booze. Y'all, P Valley back. <laughs> And it's lit, okay? It's lit. So I watched P Valley and I used a sticker from Stick with the Plant, uh, the sticker party to mark that. I used a sticker from Whimsical Cat to mark that it was another cuddle day. <laughs> and then I had a Glam Planner sticker to mark that I got some happy mail from pa Fabled Court, Paper Dolls, and Mary Me Bell. Mary Me Bell was the happy mail that I was missing or put out a search for. Then, um, I used a sticker from Starlight Paper Studio to mark that I watched Top Gun Maverick. I liked it. I wasn't mad at it. And then I used a sticker from Mr. and Mrs. Mint because I went to a Crystal Live. Y'all, I have not been to a Crystal Live in so long. And I got like 10 crystals for like six bucks. <laughs> I had won like so many giveaways. It was a good day. <laughs> so then I also filmed that day and I used a sticker from Right Dear Stationery along with a script from Scribble Prince Code to mark that. All right, we caught up. Mm, we caught up. Mm. All right, so then on Saturday, I used a sticker from I don't know who that's from, but Bestie got it for me, and I used that to mark that me and Bestie went to go check out my event space that I decided to go against, and I also, and then we also went to eat with my little one because Baby, or Joy, went swimming with her friend, and so I used a sticker from Lexi Kylie Designs to mark that when they went to the pool, which is like the, it used to be called, or it used to be the Atlanta Beach, which was like a man-made beach in Clayton County, which I don't know why it's called Atlanta Beach. Anyway, um, it used to be that, but now I think it's called like Spivey something. Spivey something, but it's like a, like a water park now, which is really cute. I like that a lot. And so Joy had a good time, y'all. <laughs> and I was proud of myself for letting her go anywhere without me. So then I used a sticker from Fox and Cactus to mark that I got my happy mail from Plenty of Planning. And then I filmed and used another sticker from White Deer Stationery. 
And I guess I didn't have any more film scripts in gold, or maybe I just need to replenish my reusable sticker book because I didn't use a script to mark that. I just wrote it in, but that's fine. I'm not mad at it. Then I use a script from Lilac Luna to mark that it was the boo domi's birthday domi is so fun you guys y'all should def check her out if you're not already following her on youtube and instagram because her youtube is so good domi just has that voice y'all domi has a great voice like i love her voice so much and i could just listen to her all day every day all right so then on sunday i ended up getting everybody ihop so we had some pancakes and I used a sticker from Beneva Creations to mark that. Then I started feeling sick. So I used a sticker from Bubble Bear to mark that I was feeling sick. <laughs> and then I pulled in a stick with the Plan Co sticker to mark that I began a major character D stash. It also ended up being a foil D stash. I have three bundles left. <laughs> So I'll probably post them a little later on this week, but um, I have three bundles left, but I had to get rid of a lot of stuff, you guys, because I keep buying and not using. So we got to get rid of some of the older things that I have since I'm, you know, not using them. <laughs> so then I used another TV sticker from Starlight Paper Studio to mark that I watched Last Scene Alive. That was a good one. That was about this man and this lady. They're basically like, like having a rough time in their marriage. And so the wife is going to go stay with her mom and dad for a little while, give them some space and let each other breathe for a little bit, see what they want to do. Like if they need to break up or divorce, whatever they, they try to work it out. Right. But they stop at a gas station and then she just go missing. <laughs> Like she gone. And so it's just him trying to find out what happened to her because he's just like, what the hell? Like she went into the gas station and just never came out. So that was a pretty good one. You see how I explained that? Like that was a good, that was some good explaining. It got you the synopsis without giving you nothing because I just told y'all the whole jungle movie. Okay. I did and I'm really bad at that like once I get started explaining things like I I struggle with trying to not tell you everything so yeah sorry about that if you never saw the jungle I apologize again all right so then also this day I used a sticker from Glam Planner just to mark RIP to trouble he um is an Atlanta rapper and yeah, someone killed him. It was sad to me. It was sad because I like trouble. Like I don't, he's not like one that I listen to on a regular and he's not one that I know all the words. I mean, I don't know all the words to a lot of people's stuff, but it's not like that. But it was sad to me because I liked him when I would listen to him. I really did. So yeah, RIP to trouble. But yeah, so that was it for this spread, you guys. I really love how this one turned out. Um, I didn't tell y'all, but this was from Letters to Apollo. I started with my Blackish moment, so we got to, you know, get a little order there next time. But yeah, so this is from Letters to Apollo. It came out last year. It's beautiful. I love it so much. Did it come out last year or this year? I don't remember, but. I love this artwork. It's really nice. I pulled in, of course, a lot of flourishes from Sadie Stickers, from Letters to Apollo herself. It's just a really good kit. And I love it. I felt like it was a good Memorial Day kit because, I don't know, it's just the butterflies and like the scene. It just, just gives me Memorial. <laughs> it does. I didn't even mark that it was Memorial Day in my spread. Um, maybe I'll put it in my sidebar because I don't. Uh, it was Memorial Week, Memorial Day week. So that should have went somewhere or I'll just save my script for next year. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. 
And I will see you in the next one. Bye.